Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you guys episode number 15 of this hybrid series. And as you guys can see up on screen, we have a hybrid between Belgium and France. So this is yet another very unique hybrid because I felt these are some of the overpowered players and I wanted to put them into a team. So as you see, guys, we're going to start with the goalkeeper, Hugo Lloris, who is one of the strongest goalkeepers in the game, um, especially from the British Premier League. That's just my opinion. But uh, 90 diving, 91 reflexes. I picked him up for 37,250. This is on Xbox, guys. Uh, I think this team cost you 150,000 coins on Xbox, around 160 on PS3. Um, as our left back over there we're going to start with him he is a belgium left back 92 pace 2100 coins tish manga and he is a very fast defender guys i must say he's one of my favorite defenders so i'm not selling him on from this squad uh next up we have vincent company who's 25,000 coins and very overpowered in my opinion definitely very strong in the game 94 pace and 86 defending so he's very good Next to him, we have Yanga Mbiwa, who is 850 coins, 2-star skill, 2-star weak foot, also 6 foot, and has that 81 defending with 76 pace. You guys can go with Kabul if you feel you um, prefer him, but I just wanted to try this defender out. Next to him, we have our right back as Bakari Sanya from Arsenal, 2,000 coins, and uh, what can I say, guys? He's a very good defender. He doesn't push up the field too much, which is very useful, but if you guys do want someone who's going to go a bit more aggressive, then go with Konko. But centre defensive mid, we have to have Marlon Fellaini. 4,800 coins, 3-star skill, 3-star weak foot, 72 pace, 82 defending, and 83 headering. <laughs> but I'm going to score a couple headers, guys, so you'll see that in the uh, little bit golds afterwards. Next up, we have Eden Hazard, who cost me 49,000 coins. 4-star skill, 4-star weak foot. If he had a little bit more, um, I'd say if his weak foot was a little bit better, it would be awesome. As you can see there, though, 90 pace and 90 dribbling. He's got very nice control over the ball. I must say, if you guys haven't tried him, also give him a try. These guys are quite overpowered, I must say. Sami Nasri, um, picked him up for 8,600 coins. 4-star skill, 4-star weak foot yet again. And... Uh, he says there is 76 uh, shooting. I don't believe that one bit. He's got some great long shots, which I must say, guys, give it a go. Uh, try some from the uh, from there. Right now, about the halfway line, and he will score them. We got Jonathan Biabiani. Would definitely say not my favorite player from the whole team, but 96 pace is very useful. Picked him up for 1,100 coins. You guys can go at Hatem Ben Arthur if you like for those five star skills. And our strikers, Kevin Marias, who is one of my favorites up front. Uh, four, 1,400 coins. 3-star skill, 4-star weak foot. If he had 4-star skill, uh, it make him so much more useful. And I feel his also his shooting stat is very underrated. And Karim Benzema, 14,500, 4-star skill, 4-star weak foot. So he's got some nice stats over there, all in the 80s, and very useful. He's also got a good header, but we'll start with him then. So as you can see, Benzema getting the ball in and then just getting the deflection. He's got a very powerful shot that somehow keepers just send back at him. And then he just goes and finishes them up on the second time. As you guys will see here, he's not going to use his feet. He's going to use that head. And uh, he's very good with those uh, headers as well, guys. As you can see, trying to cover everything with headering, shooting, um, dribbling over there. Just trying to get everything in, guys. Showing you how good of a player he is. And uh, over there, just finding another ability to tackle the player and go and finish that one nice and smoothly into the back of the net. So... Very good player. He's one of my favorite players from FIFA 11. And then he went into FIFA 12 and I did a nice uh, goal scoring with him. And uh, FIFA 13, hopefully I'm going to get something for him for my end of FIFA 13 uh, sort of compilation. So we'll wrap that with that uh, somewhere towards the end. And I'm looking very forward to FIFA 14. But Benzema over there going to tackle the keeper for being a bit uh, being a bit uh, cheeky over there. And uh, going to go and follow up over here. As you can see, guys, the keeper's just sort of bounce it back at him. And this is from uh, Manuel Neuer's to... Um, Hugo Lloris is to Casillas. They just send it back to him. I don't know. They don't like holding the ball. And uh, Benzema going to find the, the ball again yet with another header. Maron Fellaini, guys, uh, definitely say he's got good long shots. Didn't manage to get any because the goalkeepers I came up against were just uh, saving everything from distance. But uh, definitely his headering ability is unlike other, any other of my team. Except for, I'd say, Vincent Company. The two Belgians at the, the defensive area are very useful. And as you guys will see here, Company uh, just about getting his head onto that one and putting it away. He's also got a very... Um, underrated ability in his shooting stat and as you guys will see this here the ball gets cleared out we're going to get it to company and uh, just see the ability to shoot and company's got like 90 something sh um, shot power i think it is so as you can see there keepers can just get hands to it but break their hands in the process and he will finish it eden hazard our 88 penalty um taker who is the highest penalty taker on the team and look at this penalty guys it's always gonna hit the crossbar always gonna go in just about three and a half bars and uh those are the guaranteed penalties to go in the back of the net so we'll try that out it's a new 
away at taking penalties and uh, hopefully you guys will score lots of penalties like that because I know not many people can save those unless they know exactly which side you're going to and uh, as you can see there guys going for a rainbow flick tackling Max Hummels and uh, Tackling Hummels and going for a nice shot past Manuel Neuer. And then here is where we're going to go for a nice shot. And look at that, crashing into the top of the net, finishing off very nicely. This guy was a bit laggy, but uh, we still get the goal past him. I'm going to have a little bit of a replay. And uh, as you can see, guys, Hazard going over there, taking out that defender with a rainbow flick. And uh, sadly, just coming off the post. If that went in, that would have been an amazing goal. I definitely had to send that in to uh, see if we could win a prize for scoring such an awesome goal. And then we'll move on to Samian and Nazri right now. So... Nazri, guys, not as acrobatic as Benzema, but nonetheless, great player. Got some good power and also long shots, as you can see there, getting it along the ground. Definitely try out his long shots on much further out. You'll have so much more fun. Uh, had lots of fun hitting the crossbars, but nothing connected into the back of the net. And beating keepers over there along the ground. He's got a very nice underrated long shot as well. So, uh, Marias now, guys, we're going to wrap it up with him because he was... Um, what I'd say is almost like a poacher up field, up front and uh, as you can see over here he's always in the right place at the right time so if you guys have tried him out and uh, probably probably would have seen this effect with him he's always scoring something and always being there in the right place so gets a ball there and I def definitely wouldn't say his uh, shooting is 75 as he's a very good player and look at that shot <laughs> kind of crazy over there but it does go into the far post and gets a nice uh, sort of side on volley and uh, here we're going to take a uh, Free kick, as you guys, many many of you guys know, I'd like taking free kicks and uh, just get saved, but uh, he's going to finish it off. So if you guys have enjoyed this, please do drop it a like, and if we can get maybe 10 or 15 likes, that would be awesome. And uh, if you guys have any recommendations for some crazy hybrids, please leave them down below. But if you guys have enjoyed, again, leave a like and subscribe, and this has been AVJV Gaming, and I'll catch you guys for the next episode.